Massimo. Are you lost, baby girl? <laughs> Are you lost, baby girl? <laughs> And it was just like a, ooh, man, like very, all right, all right. Hello, welcome back, hoes. Welcome back, you little stinky sluts. I'm just kidding, I'm the only stinky slut in this room. Well, <laughs> every time I already think that a video is gonna be completely demonetized, I'm like, let's just go and get some help together. Join me, grab my hand, and we will walk there together, you and I. Bitches and hoes and bitches and hoes. I mean, I am doing the most right now. Hi, welcome to today's video. You guys have been requesting this video. A couple of you guys from the OnlyFans video. A lot of you guys have actually been requesting that I do more OnlyFans videos with my fiance. But um, I don't really know necessarily where to start. I tried to look on OnlyFans for research purposes, like their top creators and et cetera, et cetera. And it seems like there's no definitive list. So if you guys have any OnlyFans creators that you guys want me to pay for and to watch and to consume their... Consume their... Consume is probably the worst word to use in this sense. To watch all of their stuff and review it for you guys, leave it in the comments. If you know, you know, but don't leave any usernames that could cause drama. I also was mistaken because apparently OnlyFans could be used for like cosplay and also cooking shows. So if there's some sort of like weird food cooking network. Show. Yeah. You cook? Should I do an OnlyFans? Yeah, you should do OnlyFans, yeah. You can combine both worlds, you okay. know? What if yeah. you start an OnlyFans yeah. and it's just you in the panda mask? Uh -huh. But naked, but you've got the bis apron on, linked in the description, and you're just cooking stuff. Nude panda, and you've got the apron, so the apron covers what the apron covers, but guess what the apron doesn't cover? The bag. Fans, we are going to be reviewing the movie, the infamous motion picture masterpiece, the well-renowned, well-respected, the epitome of classy TV, Oscar-winning, just chef's kisses, 365 days. Which, if you guys don't know, <laughs> is a like raunchier Fifty Shades of Grey. I think that I'm gonna have a typical reaction to this movie, just the fact that I think it'll be a cute love story. Just like how I did with Fifty Shades of Grey. I thought that one was just one for the books, one for the ages. My fiance, on the other hand, hated the entire Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy. Trilogy. He hated he it, and I loved it, and so I'm excited for his reaction, but first, before we get started, I must say that this demonetized video is brought to you by ExpressVPN. I mean, I have been using ExpressVPN for, for a really long time, holy sh**. I've been using them for a really long time and honestly, it is like the best thing ever. VPN is the best thing ever. You need a VPN and if you don't have a VPN and if you have no idea what that even means, I am not even going to go down the path of like technological nonsense with you guys because that is a dark, deep world. But I will say this, just to sum it up real quick. What how does it, VPN stand for? Virtual Private Network. Damn. <laughs> like everyone knows that. <laughs> what does SOS stand for? <laughs> save our souls or oh. save our ship for back in the day. Wow. Damn. Damn. Wow, that got really intense. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. SOS to you guys who are not using a VPN right now because honestly, everyone, everyone can, can see, see straight into, into your soul. soul. Because I would like to say everything on your internet, your web browser history, even if you think that you're being slick using incognito mode, oh, don't worry about it. Like, yes, I'm watching something weird, but you know, I'm on private tab. No, none of that is actually private because if you don't know, in the United States, your internet service provider actually has access to all of that personal, personalized data, and they have the right to sell this information. Whether you guys are on your home Wi-Fi, or if you guys are in Starbucks, or your dorm, or your campus, or literally a hotel, an airport, anytime you connect to any sort of Wi-Fi, if you're not using a VPN, you're also just kind of like signaling to hackers like, hey, I'm just gonna leave my door unlocked, but like don't come in, please. And they're gonna come in and it's not gonna be fun. You've got probably a lot of sensitive information on your computer or you're checking into your bank account through your bank browser and let's say you're like, listen, I really don't care. I have a bang in her search history. I don't care if the whole world knows about it. I would post it for everyone to see. Well, let me tell you why I also use VPN. This has been helping. I don't know if I can even call this a, like a quarantine anymore, but during quarantine, you guys know I'm obsessed with Spanish films, like the psychological thrillers. And if you go on Netflix and you change your VPN to say that you're in Spain instead of the United States, even though it's your same account, your same membership, you actually get access to other movies and other TV shows 
that you didn't have access to before. Make sure to check the link in the description because ExpressVPN was also very gracious enough to give all of us a bacon discount. So make sure to check the links in the description. And yeah, maybe if you, your parents or anyone's watching and you're a little nervous and you're ready to watch 365 days, or maybe you don't live in the United States and it's not available in your country. I got you, girl. So let's get started. I am very freaking nervous. I have it pulled up. Um, and we're just gonna kind of start. So why is this movie so big? So Fifty Shades of Grey, I uh -huh. will say I really enjoyed it. It, it. I mean, some people call it just porn. But I don't think that it was. What I do think, you think it is? Like a love story? Yeah, but kind of like um, equivalent to The Notebook. <laughs> just cinematography, filmatography, kinky, amazing, just plot or the the plot the plot is the best yes got it if you guys don't know what it's about i'm going to give you a brief little gist the opening scene we've already watched it and then i realized we should watch it on camera <laughs> the opening scene starts with a man by the ma name of massimo this is what he looks like every single girl on tiktok every single straight girl on tiktok was like i need to find me a massimo and then a bunch of girls from dubai were like literally that's what everyone looks like here and now everyone's like trying to book their tickets to dubai it's a like long story right <laughs> and he is a mafia leader and his dad passes away who he was the leader and so he's taking over this drug empire but it's all very romanticized like you know and so then he meets this girl by the name of Laura now Laura is very important to him because as his father his mafia boss cartel leading father of the Italian mafia was getting shot on a rooftop with him and his blood was splurting all over the sun and it was just like a Ooh, man, like very all right, all right. emotional, intense, heavy moment. He blacked out because he had been shot like where the kidneys are. That is not where the kidneys are. Lower belly, lower abdomen, and he had been shot. And he falls to the ground and he holds it. And he sees a vision of a girl. And he holds on to that vision. And he survives. And then he always thought, you know, my brain made up this vision of a girl. This girl doesn't exist. And he had these paintings drawn of her all over his mafia house. And then one day, they're skr skr through the airport. And he sees the girl. And then that's where the romance stops because he stalks her. So he that's can... the girl of his dream, literally. Yeah, and instead, oh. I mean, this man is loaded. He is rich. He is tall, dark, and handsome. Instead of approaching her with all of that and just saying, hey, you want to go on a date? He stalks her and then has her kidnapped by his mafia goons. And then they bring her back. And instead of being like, hey, I've kidnapped you. Um, this is where he's like, I'm trying to be a good person, I guess. So he says, I'm only kidnapping you for a year. And she's like, what? I am not your property. And then he's all like, if you can't fall in love with me in a year, you can leave. That sounds like Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah. Um, again, very similar to Fifty Shades of Grey in the sense that if these men were not wealthy and were not super handsome, it would just be kidnapping and it'd probably be illegal and I'd probably share this story in a mukbang as a true crime. So let's get into it. So he, he, he dies. dies. Mafia he leader dies. Oh. Also, the song choice is titled Hard For Me. Wow. <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Laura and her boyfriend and her best friend go out That's of the country. That's the boyfriend, right? Yeah, so the bald dude that looks kind of like Joe Rogan, but not really. Like <laughs> and Laura and him go out of the country. Now, Laura's boyfriend is not a really great person. He doesn't really like to have sex with her. He's not really interested in her. Just constantly plays on his Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Is that what it is? I think so. <laughs> okay, so now she's just walking around in the middle of the night in a foreign country. But she's crying. She's having a hard day. Why is she crying? Because her boyfriend's so annoying, you know? I don't know why she's running. I don't know where she's going. Okay, why so is she walking into like a dark alley? Okay, so now a car, headlights turn on, and she bumps into someone from the Mafia, <laughs> who, again, seems really attractive. I've never seen someone just walk and turn around and bump into someone's yeah. chest. She wakes up in a really nice bed. I love how she wakes up so calmly, like not very alarmed. Did she get drugged? I believe so. But I think the whole premise of this movie is that he refuses to do anything with her unless she consents. So he's like a generous kidnapper, but I mean, he's still a kidnapper. <laughs> That's some kinky shit. So this is a castle. That's his house? Yeah. A fucking castle? Mm -hmm. All right, that's too much. I would not be just sitting on the bed contemplating my life. Like I would be trying to break windows and yeah. like either screaming or making such a mess that someone tells me what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, but she's just like, this is my life now. 
lady. <laughs> There's gotta be some fight in you. Come on. <laughs> would somebody yes. unlock the yeah. door? I also would not just open the door without bringing some sort of temporary weapon that I could be using. So she's walking down the stairs of what looks like a natural history museum. It's a wild castle where she turns around after she's being held captive and she sees these giant commissioned paintings of her. That's creepy. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, wait, Maxi wait. More. Wait. Oh no. Are you lost, baby girl? <laughs> Did you just call him Maxi More? Massimo. Maximo. <laughs> Massimo. Massimo. <laughs> like they love it. They love it. Like they want to literally oh go travel God. abroad and meet a mafia boss that says, Are you lost, baby girl? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh huh. That makes me uncomfortable. After he says, Are you lost, baby girl? She faints from probably being dropped <laughs> straight into his arms. And he gives her. He picks up a piece of ice and feeds it to her and says, Suck it. What did she she say? spit it out and said, Suck it yourself. I'm not your property. What the fuck? Do you want to know why you're here or not? Didn't you tell so many a serial killer story like this? Yeah. You know, okay, this movie was actually really good when I watched it alone, but now that I'm watching it with him and you're pointing out the cringe, I'm starting to be uncomfortable. That's why I'm giving you a chance to fall in love with me. I'll, I'll give you a chance. chance. You know what I think this entire movie is based off of the primitive need though, which is definitely a conversation for a different day. And really, I don't care if movies are made like this. I mean, some people get really up in arms about it. Some people are like, video games need to be demolished. Fifty Shades of Grey needs to be demolished. They're sending the wrong message, right? I don't really care. But I will say, I think it hits that like primitive thing inside of girls that just wants to be the chosen one out of a group. Cause like she was kidnapped out of all the girls he could have kidnapped, it was her. Uh -huh. I think that's like literally what The Bachelor is off of. But uh -huh. also, don't you feel like, let's say you like someone and you find out so many people like that person, suddenly uh -huh. they might be more desirable. Yeah. What is that? It's... Your boyfriend doesn't deserve you. Well, I think her boyfriend was cheating on her. These are like professional photo shoots. It literally looks like a, like a porn photo shoot. What are they doing? He says, I won't do anything without your permission, whilst he grabs the booty. I don't understand. No one said Okay! I will tell you all, but don't provoke me. I'm not used to tolerating disobedience. Okay, see, like now watching it in daylight with you um, suddenly feels very illegal. <laughs> you have 365 days. <laughs> I'll do anything so you can fall in love with me. Making a run. So she was able to get out of her room. Turn around, he's standing right there, and they start making out. And then he says, Are you lost, baby girl? <laughs> really? They just kill someone? Yeah. In front of her? Uh-huh. <laughs> and she faints and wakes up. She wakes up with full makeup, hair on fleek. I mean, this is hair. Her outfit, amazing. It looks like real silk. It looks very expensive. And he, he just happens to be sitting completely shirtless when she wakes up. Imagine how long that takes. I used to do that shit when I was very young, when we first started dating. I'd try to like do my makeup before you woke up and then you'd wake up and I'd just be sitting there like an angel. Yeah, and somehow I wake up uh, and I was like, wow, so much perfume. <laughs> If that's your idea of falling in love with you looks like you're f***ing wrong. Oh my god, those. So, he has very violent tendencies. I mean, she says you're f***ing wrong and he feels the need to push her onto the bed and put all of his body weight onto her. And yeah. then she slaps him, which is very well deserved. He deserves the slap, but... Yeah. Why is he so violent? <laughs> this just seems like an abusive relationship. Yeah. I mean, it's not really a relationship, it's kidnapping, I guess. <laughs> Music choices, Stella. <laughs> he takes her shopping. What is happening? Get out, Rosa. Else what? <laughs> Excuse him, it's his first time seeing boobies. <laughs> is that what it is? I guarantee you, it's the last time you see it. She said, get out, or this will be the last time you will see my... No, get out, because it will be the last time you see I've ordered it. And I'm gonna decide when I'm gonna see it. It's a little hypocritical, you know, because what? he said, like, I'm not gonna do anything without your permission. And then suddenly he's like switching it up and he's like, <gasps> if I order that sh And then it's kind of like, but Massimo, you just said. Are you lost? <laughs> Baby girl? Ah! I think it's always a whole lot 
comedy when there's a very long table involved and the people that are supposedly supposed to fall in love or dating or etc the romantic leads in the movie are sitting 25,000 feet away from each other at the opposite ends of the oh, table so what do you actually do companies company hotels he hotels. says entrepreneur literally every guy you go on a date with probably in LA what do you do I'm an entrepreneur I'm a CEO of my own company some call me unemployed I call it a hustler it's, it's like a corporation like you to teach me how to be gentle. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's kind of cute, right? No? This is the shower scene that is infamous. There's a shower scene, a boat scene that's infamous. So they still haven't done it? Yes. Oh my gosh. They have sh two shower heads and he starts showering butt naked. Right next to her. Yeah, and he's oh, like no. caressing the walls and shit. Literally nobody does that. Oh my god, those. Why are you looking at it? What did he say? Why are you, Why are you looking at it? <laughs> <laughs> this is normal. When I was watching it alone, it was completely normal and it's fine. <laughs> but I love that they haven't like emotionally bonded at all. Oh my god, this. So she tries to leave after teasing him a little bit. Is that her? Yeah. <laughs> she like really doesn't want to go on the private jet. Like, I can't. But then Wait. he picks her up and puts her on his shoulder yeah. and continues to walk into the private yeah. jet. He just walks up the PJ stairs. Did you see Mike Pence floor it on the private jet? No. What yeah. He was like waving and sh**. He and ran he up and he fucking... <laughs> <laughs> but Massimo just... Let's go, baby girl! <laughs> he tied her up with private jet seatbelt. I kind of see why girls like this. Okay, but I will say, like, we only like it because it's a fantasy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if it actually happened to us, none of us are gonna be like, Stop it, Massimo! Let me your boob. <laughs> and, like, looking at the, you know. Yeah, we get it. Whoa! Sorry. <laughs> why am I apologizing? No! <laughs> Oh, oh, this is the infamous God. ice cream scene. The ice cream? Like teasing oh, him. I'm dirty. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. He literally just said, Why are you looking at it? Do you want to touch it? But then the minute she starts eating ice cream, he's like, Stop it, I can't handle it. <laughs> oh, this seems Stop. wild. What is this? <laughs> it's the bedroom scene. If you guys watch this movie, it's the bedroom scene. <laughs> It's just weird. Like, Fifty Shades of Grey would never. She is teasing him. She didn't give consent. He brings in someone else. And they make very strong eye contact. Wait, what's happening? Oh my god, who is this? The girl was, um... Oh my god, those! So she's watching live porn. Of the guy who literally said, I love you more than anything and I need you to fall in love with me. And he said, anyways, I'm going to cheat on you right now. <laughs> I don't know how I would feel. This scene isn't famous. Nobody really talks about this scene. It's just kind of like a crazy mind-boggling scene, but it's not the scene that women are like, yes, I love Massimo. Okay, so this, this is why I said Fifty Shades would never, because Christian Grey genuinely just fucking loved Anastasia mm. Steele, you know? Sure. <laughs> that he would never, but um... I guess Massimo is a different breed. He's gonna kill you. Why is he gonna kill you? Because she's wearing something really just super... Provocative? Yeah. Like why, why even bring her to the club then if he gets offended that she's dressed up for the club? Yeah. I'm actually not friends with Maxi more, and oh. so even though I wish I could ask him so for like, you. <laughs> yeah. Now they're on the yacht. Oh yeah, it gets wild. Ready? Wait, what happened? Whoa! What's happening? Why? What do you mean why? How? This, 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 Why? This is the fuck scene! Why? What are you today? Ah, we're in the fuck scene! You have to understand. You have to understand. He's always shirtless because it's so <laughs> hot. <laughs> oh my god, this. Oh, funny! Did they actually do it in the movie? They said in the interview that they didn't. But I'm like, wow. I'm like, they probably use like um, a fake. Mm. Honey, this is porn. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy! That's the scene everyone loved. Why is that they loved it? This is their first time doing it, I guess, in the movie. So it's like true love. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, my mom's home. <laughs> this shows up on her Netflix. 
Continue no! watching. I wonder what the camera crew are doing right now. We gotta get the shot. But it's real intense. Wow. I don't think I'd be comfortable as camera crew. But I'd be like, do you mind if I just stick my camera right here? Or <laughs> that, <laughs> am I breaking up the mood? Are you guys in the mood or not in the mood? Or are you guys acting? I don't I don't know. Like if you want some time alone, let me know. Time alone. All right, it still keeps going. I mean, oh just, my god. Oh my god. They really keep going. Oh my god. This. Oh my god. This keeps going. Oh my god. This. Okay, now they're- Oh, oh my. my! This is an epic scene, I gotta say. Yeah, they do have drone footage. Drone footage of, yeah. of this? I told you, cinematography. <laughs> Award winning, best picture film, okay? Damn, they're very flexible. Yeah. We're going to the bowl. She's <laughs> like, I already went to the bowl. <laughs> Wait, what was that TikTok joke? <laughs> what did Cinderella say when she <laughs> went to the ball? <laughs> So it's like the young kids being like, hey, hey, like parents, old parents, what did Cinderella say when they went to the ball? <laughs> and the parents are like, what? And they go, <laughs> <laughs> and the parents, <laughs> you can see the disappointment in their faces. <laughs> like they're just all like, they didn't even chuckle? No, I mean, there was this one mom who chuckled and she guessed it. What do you mean she yeah, guessed she's it? Like, <laughs> Is this all the crazy scene? No, you're literally just headed straight into another one. Just Open right wide bits, yeah. What's going on here? Just like more love making. So, pretty much what happens is he ends up sending her back home because he is having some rival gang sh happen and he didn't want her to get into the middle of it mm. and it kind of seemed more like he was over it. Mm. And so she goes home and she has like this crazy just Ugh, whatever and she dyes her hair blonde and then he ends up coming back for her and they end up doing it and then he ends up like having a wound and then he, she's like did you take care of it and he's like i took care of it and then at the end she grabs his face while they're laying in bed and she's like i don't need to hear because i've already seen him in love <laughs> <laughs> and cool. then they get engaged oh really yeah <sighs> that's it <laughs> i will say that this this movie is much better when you watch it alone, in the dark, and you don't actually listen to what they're saying. <laughs> How do you feel about it? It's like watching um, TikTok POV. <laughs> Just like, like French, cringe. funny. Well, some of them are good looking, but damn. Damn! Just be warned. I mean, otherwise, it's a spectacular movie. It's just like you gotta watch it in the right mindset, with the right setting, and really have a real purpose for the movie before you go into it. Otherwise, you're gonna leave this movie thinking, what the fuck did I just watch? 83% liked this movie. What? An article that says, stream it or not, Netflix is 365 days is 50 shades of trash. No amount of peen could rescue Netflix is 365 days. No amount of what? Oh my gosh, wait, I need to see it on Rotten Tomatoes. It is 0%. <laughs> On the <laughs> tomato meter. There haven't been line readings this poor since the third act of The Room by Kevin Mayher. I mean, I think you were watching it for the wrong reasons, Kevin. I could be wrong. I mean, I'm just saying. I don't think anyone was waiting for the best line delivery that we've ever seen. It's only the strength of its good-looking naked leads and their palpable hot people chemistry that the, the, <laughs> that the film remains perversely watchable. The movie pretty much cops every move made by Fifty Shades as if it were a bible of anti-sexy awfulness. <gasps> what? what? Fifty Shades of Grey, but kidnapping porn, but mafia picture, softcore of course. <laughs> what are these? Oh my god, the reviews for audience is bad too. People are just saying it's Stockholm Syndrome, it's complete abuse, disguised as romance, I agree with that. But I'm just saying it's just a movie. <laughs> Gabrielle pulling through with them five stars and she said best movie I've ever seen <laughs> Four stars? So what if it's a full of hot sexy scenes with gorgeous actors and a thumping soundtrack? Not for everyone, but definitely for those looking for something fun to watch at home I thought it was like, not for everyone, but definitely for me <laughs> Who plays Massimo is the hottest and most charismatic actor I've ever seen. What Laura! about Laura? What about the person who plays Laura? <laughs> we know why she liked this movie. I mean, we know why I like this movie, okay? Someone just said five stars. I love this movie. They need to make a second one. <laughs> <laughs>
That was a waste of my time. Thank you so much. I mean, let me know in the comments if you guys watched 365 Days. What are your thoughts on it? Do you actually think that this movie should be banned? Because, I mean, it seems like from according to a lot of the reviews, they said it's bad for society. Um, but I really hope that anyone who is of the age that is allowed to watch this video realizes it's just a movie. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to check out ExpressVPN linked in the description, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!